Storm Shield weather certified most accurate. And as we moved on into our Easter weekend, we're starting off with mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies right here in the Tulsa area. We're not tracking any rain locally, but off to the north and west of us, still seeing a few isolated showers in parts of north central Oklahoma up around Enon and Ponca City this morning. Now, as we move through the morning hours, there will be a slight opportunity. One or two of these showers could make it into parts of northeast Oklahoma, especially north and west of the Tulsa area from Pawnee through Osage, Washington, Nowata counties. That's going to stand the highest likelihood of seeing one of these showers, and that's only running at about 20 to 30 percent. Also, you folks in southeast Kansas could see an isolated shower during the morning hours. Otherwise, we'll see partly cloudy skies for much of the day today and a better chance of rain and thunderstorms moving in for tonight. Well, here's another look at Ruby the red-tailed hawk, and again, she is enjoying the weather this morning. Nice and mild with temperatures in the 60s, but once again, it's going to be another windy day here in eastern Oklahoma. We're at 67 officially. Look at that south wind, already up to 16 miles per hour with some higher gusts. Humidity level 76%, so it is a little muggy out there this morning. We're going to keep the muggy conditions going right on through the day. We're at 67 in Owasso, over to Claremore. We're setting at 66 in Inola, 66 in Broken Arrow. Out to the west, temperatures generally in the mid to upper 60s from Prue and Sand Springs down to Sepulpa. The rest of eastern Oklahoma, we're in the 60s, already approaching 70 degrees in a few spots. 68 now in Eufaula. We're setting at 67 in Bristow, 66 this morning out in Oklahoma City. And off to the east of us, as we move toward the Arkansas line, temperatures generally running in the lower 60s right now. Tahlequah at 63 three degrees. Winds generally out of the south at 10 to 20 miles per hour. We're seeing a 17 mile per hour wind right now at Okmulgee, also at Joplin, and a 20 mile per hour breeze at Enid. Some of the wind gusts, some of these latest gusts out there, 25 to 30. Notice a 25 mile per hour gust at Bristow, also here in the Tulsa area. Okima, a 27 mile per hour gust. We will see some of these gusts 35, maybe up to 40 miles per hour off and on throughout the day. So another warm and windy day across eastern Oklahoma. All right, on future track, what are we expecting? Well, as we move through the morning hours again, isolated shower possible, especially north and west west of the Tulsa area. Notice future track brings a lone shower right across the Tulsa area. Not completely out of the question that we would see that. Generally from I-44 to the northwest, a little better chance of one of these isolated showers passing through during the morning hours. But again, most of the day is going to be dry for most of us, and we're going to see the partly cloudy skies here in eastern Oklahoma. A little thicker cloud cover back to the north and west. And you notice a cold front moving through central areas of Kansas. So as we move through the midday time period into the afternoon, showers and thunderstorms will start developing near that front across areas of Kansas back in the Oklahoma and Texas panhandles. As we move through the evening hours, still relatively dry here in eastern Oklahoma, but we will see increasing chances for some of that rain and thunderstorm activity that will develop to our northwest to move into parts of southeastern Kansas, maybe extreme Oklahoma during the late evening hours. So you notice I've stopped it right around midnight. Best chance of showers and thunderstorms during the evening and overnight hours will initially be across areas of southern Kansas and out to our west. But as we move through the overnight itself, as this cold front moves a little bit closer, we'll see increasing chances for showers and thunderstorms here in Oklahoma. So a 20% opportunity through the evening. We'll bump that up to a 50% chance overnight tonight. And then a good chance for showers and thunderstorms around the area tomorrow morning at 70%. Then it looks like the chance will drop off just a little bit. So right now those Easter sunrise services, well, it doesn't look like a good chance of that as we're going to see plenty of cloudiness around and a good chance for some rain and storms tomorrow morning. And then as we move through the overnight hours tomorrow, we're going to see more showers, more thunderstorms developing and pushing into the area. What about severe weather risk for today? Highest risk of severe weather mainly across Kansas back into western Oklahoma. A couple of those thunderstorms later on tonight could be marginally severe, especially north and west of Tulsa. Some gusty winds, maybe some small hail in most of the storms, but we don't expect much in the way of any severe weather here with any storms later on tonight. And then tomorrow, especially during the morning hours, again, a marginal risk. One or two storms could approach severe limits, but you notice we don't expect much in the way of any severe weather as we move on into tomorrow as well. Look at these high temperatures today in the 80s. It's going to be warm. It's going to be muggy out there with those south winds 15 to 30 and higher gusts. Then for tonight, that 50% chance of showers and storms here in the Tulsa area, that chance is 60 to 70 percent up around Bartlesville and Coffeeville, with overnight lows dropping into the lower 60s. So we're going to see that chance of rain 20 percent this evening jumps up to a 50 percent chance tonight, 70 percent chance tomorrow on our Easter, especially during the morning hours. It'll drop off a bit during the afternoon. This is moving to Sunday night and Monday morning. Another good chance for rain and thunderstorms moving in. That'll taper off a bit as we move through Monday. Then just slight chances for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. More rain and more thunderstorms on the way for Friday. So you notice we'll kind of an unsettled pattern here. Right. We're at least we have a chance to rain each and every day here over the next six or seven days. So I may need an umbrella tomorrow for the Easter egg hunt. I think you're definitely going to want to keep one with you because we may not need it all day long, but especially during the morning hours. Unfortunately. Uh, unfortunately, all yes. All right, thank you, Taft. Okay. Breaking news this morning.